Hey guys, John here with a first look at Star Wars Battlefront on PlayStation 4. It's Star Wars, so there's a lot of hype around this game. But what's actually more exciting to us here at Digital Foundry is the evolution of DICE's Frostbite engine which powers the game. As with Battlefield 4 and Hardline, Battlefront aims to deliver a 60 frames per second experience on both consoles. Yet, in those previous games, the results weren't quite there, with plenty of dips below the desired 60 frames per second. With Battlefront, things were not looking very stable at E3 this year, but the recent beta gave us a lot of hope for more solid performance. Now we have the final game and, well, performance is looking excellent. This footage was captured during a gameplay session at DICE HQ last week with 30 people engaged in battle. We did not get a chance to play with the full 40, but based on what we've seen thus far, things are looking very promising. What we have here is basically a very stable 60 frames per second. It's not perfect, there are duplicates popping up here and there in select situations, but the overall level of performance is remarkably stable here, a far cry from Battlefield 4. It's a jump forward from both the E3 version and even the recent beta. DICE has achieved a level of performance on par with the likes of Metal Gear Solid 5 and Halo 5. The hangar section from the beta version became infamous for the performance drops incurred by fighting within this area. Yet, based on our experience with the game so far, things are looking up here. In this particular footage, the frame rate remains extremely stable in this section. Though of course we'll need to wait until we can put it through the ringer this week to say for sure. Regardless of the action on screen though, performance remains very steady throughout every mode we tested. Check it out, jumping into an ATST here and looking down on the action, very consistent level of performance. Now let's move on to Endor. Let's start with one of the single player challenges actually. This one falls into the training category and involves piloting a speeder bike through the forest while eliminating rebels along the way. It's fast, simple, yet beautiful, and the frame rate never buckles. The excellent motion blur really helps sell the action here. Moving on to the walker assault mode on Endor, we see the same smooth performance as we saw on Hoth. One of the concessions made to reach this level of performance is the drop to 1600 by 900 resolution. It's a trade-off that is clearly well worth it here, provided you don't have your face pressed up against a high resolution PC monitor. The image is very temporarily stable throughout, while the lighting and materials are among the best we've ever seen. Watching all of this unfold at a stable frame rate on consoles is really a sight to behold. Battlefield Hardline did not really deliver much of an improvement over Battlefield 4 in regards to performance, but since then it's clear that DICE has improved its rendering technology. We have both more impressive visuals on display along with smoother performance. Okay, so we'll be looking more closely at the game over the coming days, but we wanted to get the word out now that Battlefront on PS4 is running very smoothly in its final incarnation. Once we have the full game in hand here, we'll be able to run it through even more modes with the maximum number of players in order to see just how well it really holds up. Anyways, I'll go ahead and leave you with some additional footage to enjoy from various sections of the game. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the rest of our content over on YouTube, and maybe even hit that subscribe button down there. Alright, until next time, this is John, signing off. Vader has arrived to the battle. May the Force be with us.
As you wish, master. Advance and leave no one alive. More than others. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not. 